Hi students, let's look at this question here, which is on inequalities. Let's say we can do this proficiently. So we're given uh, this inequality and asked to solve solve algebraically the inequality for this. I'm just going to use I'm just going to use the test point method. I could see that actually uh, ex is always positive, so there will, be, will not be any real root. So when you do the test point method here, what you need to do is just draw out all the roots, right? So we have got um, this would not have any root on the number line. Then we have a negative one here. Then this will be zero. Then uh, zero and this is two. Just remember that this is a repeated root. So we just know that the sign around here will just be repeated. And remember that the the roots from the denominator would yield a vertical symptom. So we're just going to draw this out and know that you shouldn't equate to this part here. So now once we are done, we're just going to test point. I put a very huge variable x is uh, infinity, which is this region here, all right? So when x is, po this is always positive. So it's always positive, it's positive, positive, positive. So in other words, this is positive. Then we know that now going to this side, this will be positive as well, negative and positive. So now the region that we want to find is the negative region. So it's here to here. Okay, so hence, algebraically, this will be the solution set would then just be x real value. Um, this is negative one, x to zero. Okay, so that's about it. Now, after which we got the hence part, solve this inequality exactly. I think it's pretty okay. So what you need to know is uh, how do we actually convert this into this, right? Uh, the key thing is it looks very complicated but what we need to do is just look at the square here that there's a plus two this is a negative two right so i could actually get it to be a negative two just remember that for minus a minus b square this will just be actually uh, a plus b square right because what, what happens is we could actually factorize the negative out and the square uh, when we square the negative it becomes positive so i'm going to just use that from here i could see that this one minus ln x is actually x ln x. Then I'll just bring the negative out ln x. So maybe I just bring the negative out. So this will be one minus ln x over minus x ln x. Then I'm just minus ln minus ln x minus two square less than zero okay so there you go so once this is done i could actually see that to rearrange this will be one minus ln x okay there will be minus x ln x here and that will be actually minus ln x minus two square so essentially what what's happening here is actually i'm replacing x with minus ln, minus ln x okay and i'll i will get this instead so i could just continue to um x with minus ln, ln x so i could just rearrange here okay this case there where we'll get this one minus ln x then there's a there's a positive there so i'm gonna put the so this is what i substituted in this is what i substituted in these are all what i subst substituted in so minus ln x square and now we'll get um negative one over on x okay now there you go i could actually arrange it already so just take note that uh e if i were to replace x with ln minus ln x this will just be um or oh, minus ln x the x is minus ln x so this is minus ln x Okay, the one over x. So this will just be e ln x above minus one and e ln x above minus one. Uh, e ln a, e ln a is a, right? So essentially, this will just be x minus one. So essentially, this could be written as e minus ln x above minus ln x. Okay, so uh, I could just see it like that, right? Or I could just once you see the replacement, you could also just replace x with minus ln x. It works also. So hence, replace x with minus ln x. 
okay then this case here what we get is actually minus ln x the solution will be zero minus one and after which what we get is re multiplying by negative one will be one flip the sign zero then e to the power of one equals to e ln x e zero is x one and this is e so hence the solution set for the second part will just be within one and e okay so that's how you do this question proficiently proficiently if you have any questions or comments please do let us know and i'll see you in the next question